Okay, in this video, let's derive the reduction formula for the integral of tan to the nth power. The tangent of x to the nth power. How do we go about this? Well, following on from getting the result for the tangent cubed function, we can follow the same principle where we reserve a tan squared, so expressing tan to the nth power as equal to being something by tan squared. And of course that something would be tan to the nth power minus 2 by tan squared of x. And in doing this we can express tan squared as the secant squared of x minus 1 because this is the Pythagorean identity. And this tan of the nth power minus 2 out the front we can expand into the parentheses, sorry not the parentheses, the brackets here. So parentheses are round brackets and the square brackets are the square brackets and these are braces I think, correct me if I'm wrong. So expanding that in we have tan to the n minus 2 by the secant squared minus tan to the n minus 2. So copying down tan to the nth power of x on the left hand side, the integral becomes the integral of 10 to the n minus 2 by sec squared. Let's write this as two integrals. Minus the integral of 10 to the n minus 2 with respect to x. Okay, let's retain this trailing integral because we've already reduced this, because we've already decreased the power here by 2. And to further reduce the power of this one, we just keep doing the same principle as what we have just done. But for this first integral here, this integral of tan to the n minus 2 power by secant squared, intuitively you might use integration by parts because we have two parts here. But if we take this second part here, this secant squared of x dx, and notice that it is a derivative of the tangent function. So let's make the substitution u equals the tangent of x. The derivative of u then du on dx is equal to secant squared of x and of course by the principles of differentials I can separate the differentials and write du is equal to secant squared of x dx. We can see that then the integral of tan to the n minus 2 by 6 squared x dx is equal to the integral of u to the n minus 2 because u equals tan x with respect to u. And this is now we can just follow the power formula which of course we increase the power by 1 so n minus 2 plus 1 well that just goes to n minus 1 divided by the new power n minus 1. Now of course we must not forget the integration constant c. Alright, we can now put the results back together. So we have 10 to the n power with respect to x. The integral of the 10 to the nth power with respect to x is equal to u minus 1, u to the n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 plus the integral of 10 to the n minus 2 power with respect to x plus the integration constant. So substituting this result back we have the integral is equal to 10 to the n minus 1 power of x divided by n minus 1 plus the integral of 10 to the n minus 2 power of x with respect to x plus the integration constant c. Hopefully this result matches what you see in tables of integrals in textbooks. That'll do it for this video. We'll do an example of this in future videos. If you found this useful please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos that may help you with your studies and please share it with your friends. I'd appreciate any small donation you can give me because helping me to create more content can only be beneficial for everyone studying mathematics. If you have any questions, please use the comment section below and uh, feel free to ask me. Until next time, best of luck with your studies and I'll see you on the next video.